Today we are going to be making minestrone. And as you can see with the ingredients, we have cauliflower, broccoli, tomatoes, garlic, celery, onions, and potatoes. So for the first step, we add a little bit of olive oil. Then we add some garlic. Let it cook just a little bit because garlic is uh, very sensitive. And then we add tomatoes. So in a separate pot, large pot, we add a little bit of olive oil. Let the olive oil heat up and add onions. At the same time, you can even add potatoes. They're finely diced. Tomatoes are still cooking. The whole idea behind the tomatoes is it will add color to the minestrone. So we'll let that cook a little bit. As the onions and the potatoes are cooking, you stir the tomatoes and you crush them with this little apparatus here made out of wood. And then you add the celery. So basically, we've been cooking the potatoes, celery, and onions. We'll add the cauliflower. Salt. Pepper. Garlic powder. And now we're ready to add the water. So now we're at maximum heat. The tomatoes are still cooking. And a very nice chunky consistency. 
combination of garlic and fresh onions, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to add one tablespoon of concentrated bouillon chicken. And stir it. We're going to wait for a boil. Once it starts to boil, the cauliflower, celery, potatoes and onions have had the time to cook about midway. Then we will add the final ingredients. To complete our minestrone. Add a boil. You add the broccoli. While the water is boiling, you add the pasta shells. Meanwhile, the tomato is still cooking. It's got the proper consistency. You add it to the soup. Stir. Got some basil from the garden. We can add it to the soup. This is a little surprise and bean medley. You buy those in cans at your local grocer. So we have a, a nice medley of beans. And just add it to the soup. The pasta is ready. I'm going to drain it. And add it to the soup. Stir. And the soup is ready. Homemade traditional minestrone. Thank you for listening to the Italian Cook, italiancook.ca.